Ah, uh, mathematics. The universal language that binds us all. The language we call mathematics is spoken and understood by all civilizations, regardless of culture, religion, or gender. Two plus two will always equal four, and pi is always approximately 3.14, no matter your culture, religion, or beliefs. Or so we've been told. Today, I challenge this notion. How can we, as educators, sit back and believe this statement when the mathematics results of Indigenous students in Australian schools are so significantly disproportionately lower than the results of their non-Indigenous counterparts? The disparity between Indigenous and non-Indigenous students can be seen clear as day here, where the Program for International Student Assessment, conducted by the Australian Council for Educational Research, found that on average Indigenous students are two and a half years behind non-Indigenous students in regards to maths. Dr. Christopher Matthews, PhD in Applied Mathematics and the Chairman of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Mathematics Alliance, has a theory that he believes explains this disparity. Dr. Matthews has developed this figure here, which summarises his view on the epistemology of mathematics. Dr. Matthews believes that the abstraction of real life situations leads to the creation of symbols that we call maths and that critical reflection of these mathematical principles form an important cycle where mathematics and its knowledge are created, developed and refined. It is in this cloud here where Indigenous students are often caught. An ARC funded project called Closing the Gaps provided insight into what is called Yolnu Mathematics. Yolnu Mathematics is an important way that the Yolnu people have chosen to communicate their relationship with each other and with country. To them, country is teacher, and country refers to humans, more than humans, and all that is tangible, including animals, winds, dreams, rocks, waters, spirit beings, and more. Essentially, the Yolnu people, and the Indigenous people as a whole, learn maths by being in the world. This is why Indigenous students are so often caught in this cloud here. They are unable to contextualise our mathematical symbols into their world. This is where MAST comes in. MAST, or Maths as Storytelling, is a teaching technique that was specifically created to help students struggling in algebra and was designed with the epistemological model in mind. The MAST process begins with students exploring the meaning of symbols and how they can be used to tell and create a story. Students are then provided with an opportunity to act out a mathematical story before identifying the story's elements or symbols. Students can finally attempt to create and share their own stories before modifying it to resemble an equation with the help of a teacher. MAST is currently endorsed by the QCAA, however it is not yet part of the mathematics curriculum. I believe that if we are to have any hope of eliminating the disparities that exist between Indigenous and non-Indigenous students, MAST needs to be included within the Australian curriculum. Thank you for listening.